And in fact, we are seeing some snowflakes in our northwest areas on our mountains. This is a live look at Sugar Mountains Resort <laughs> camera. We were seeing flakes flying there just a second ago. Yeah, temperatures are, are hovering near freezing in many of our mountain locations this morning. And this is this is one of the few areas that actually has snow on the ground. Checking with uh, some many of the camera resort cameras that we have up in Boone, uh, up in much of Watauga County. Things are pretty clear. Roads are wet and there are some flurries flying, but uh, certainly starting to add up on an early season snowfall. Uh, some of our mountain ski resorts, they certainly could use a boost. Uh, some of that's left over. It's more sprinkles across the triad. Temperatures are in the mid 40s. No threat of snow anywhere east of the highest elevations. We have a rising frost and freeze threat over the next couple of mornings. Beyond the freeze warning, it's in place for the mountains today. Frost advisories have been issued for uh, portions of the area. Uh, we do have some milder temperatures uh, returning to the forecast as we get into the weekend and even into early next week. But temps have been tumbling. We're in the mid 30s right now in Boone. 34 is the cool spot up in Jefferson and 36 degrees from Sparta to Galax this morning. Uh, temperatures have slipped into the upper 30s in North Wilkesboro. Just about everywhere else is in the low to mid 40s as you're getting your day started today. We have a steady push of cool air uh, coming in the, out of the north behind a, an early season uh, kind of Arctic air mass that has slipped in. This is a, a little bit unusually cold. We normally see our first frost or freeze around this time of year, but uh, we certainly have changed our weather pattern very quickly and uh, freeze warnings in place for the high country as a result. That's in place until 10 o'clock this morning. Uh, triad temperatures uh, will dip down to the lower 40s and then start to warm from there. Highs, though, don't escape the upper 50s today. Cool breeze blowing out of the north northwest uh, could gust as high as 15 or 20 miles per hour. It's going to make it feel a little chillier, so a jacket would be a great idea before you leave the house today. We'll see clearing skies through the morning in the foothills as well. High temperatures in the mid to upper 50s with mountain highs staying in the mid to upper 40s after starting out just a few degrees above freezing in most areas that uh, freeze alert that frost uh, or the freeze warning has uh, an alert icon up uh, for that time frame. Then we'll see sunshine returning to the area. We'll likely see another round of freeze warnings there uh, later on tonight. Frost advisory in place for the triad begins late tonight at 2 a.m. through 10 a.m. on Thursday includes Davy County and the rest of the Piedmont Triad through the overnight hours. We were talking about the tropics a short time ago. There are two areas of interest for watching. Uh, one has a better chance of development than the other. It's that orange area. Uh, that tropical wave we've been tracking for days now is now moving into that area. You can see that shaded that has uh, a little better chance for development. The environmental conditions are more favorable from a wind and a warm water perspective. And so this has a chance to become a tropical depression and likely will become a tropical storm Nadine down the road. You can see models in very good agreement on this projected track into some of the Caribbean islands. But that high pressure that's bringing the cool temperatures here will likely keep that anchored farther south and keep that track from turning uh, north uh, up and along the Atlantic seaboard. The other wave is in an area where it's no stranger to developing storms in that western Caribbean area, but uh, only a 10 to 20 percent chance for anything developing here over the next couple of days. Temperatures begin to warm some tomorrow, but still a cooler than average day with a high close to 60. Got an impact icon for that frost advisory. Uh, temps start to warm on Friday back at the upper 60s first, and then we're going to be back in the 70s beginning on Sunday.